absolutely smothers this receiver and he hits the deck, waves the white flag. All right. Cooper DeGene, the chosen one, the greatest white cornerback in history and possibly the best DB in the nation. Let's take a look at the key facts about him. He had one FBS offer out of high school and it was from his hometown Iowa Hawkeyes. So he was more than excited to sign. He's very versatile. He lined up back corner, nickel, linebacker, and edge for the Hawkeyes. He was the only cornerback in college football with run and pass grades over 85 per PFF. He had five interceptions in 2022 and 15 run stops, which led all corners in the FBS. But is his success going to translate to the next level? And how high should he go in the draft? Let's take a look at the tape. Iowa loves running cover three, and the corners tend to play with a zone turn technique. I don't usually like seeing this, but Cooper actually makes this technique look usable. Michigan State showing a heavy front here, lots of blockers. Defense is showing cover three pre-snap, not really hiding anything. The receiver is going to attempt a double move on DeGene, but Cooper is disciplined in coverage and never really bites hard on routes. Since the defense is in a cover three, there's a hole on the inside past this first linebacker zone, so a slant would work well here. That's why the offense called this play, because they thought Cooper would bite on the inside route behind the linebacker. He's ready for the in-breaking route, but doesn't commit, stays on the receiver, and completely takes him out of the play, and then makes a sweet catch in the back of the end zone. Great ball skills. Zone blitz look from the Hawkeyes, so they're going to have Cooper manned up on this side with the lone receiver, and they're going to have a zone on the strong side. Receiver runs an over and back out, an interesting route. This play is going to try to get Cooper to bite, but he's got clean technique, consistently focuses on staying on the receiver's hip, and has the closing speed to make a play once the ball is thrown. It is rare for a guy to make the zone turn technique look this good. Cooper has clean footwork, which allows him to change directions to break on routes. And the thing that really stands out with this film is how competitive he is. In coverage and in run support, he's a true football guy. So when you run a trash route like this, short curl, he's going to dominate you and then let you know about it. This is great stuff. How does he look in press? Pretty damn good. I was bracketing the inside receivers, and they got man on the outsides. And wow, Cooper hits the wide receiver with the reverse ankle breaker. A rare sight. Good strong arm at the line. And look at the reactive quickness, so smooth with his feet, absolutely smothers this receiver and he hits the deck, waves the white flag. Here he is on the inside in man coverage, and he has great route anticipation, a rare trait to have. But it jumps off of his film, he feels this out route coming, he's aware of where he has help, doesn't get threatened by the speed, plays physical, takes on the contact, stays in phase, and closes the throwing window. He just looks in control on most plays. And back to the zone turn, Cooper's great at reading and reacting to the quarterback's eyes. He sees the last step in the hitch and expects the route. He anticipates and then is very quick to close space on the receiver. This might be my favorite part of his game. He's like an extra safety out on the field, just so physical. He loves being around the ball and making plays. This is where his competitiveness just really stands out. He can take on blocks, he can push guys over, and he gets the ball carrier down. Really valuable and super fun to watch. Cooper DeGene is a straight up baller. He's got smooth hips and is fluid in coverage. Very good route anticipation and has elite competitive toughness. He can also make plays with the ball in the air. His press coverage is solid, but there's still room to improve his hand fighting and strength. But I think after a few years in the league, he really could become great in press coverage. He's definitely a first round talent. I think he gets picked somewhere in the back half of the first and has a long successful career in the pros. So those are my thoughts on DeGene. Please let me know what you think about him in the comments and let me know who I should spotlight in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'm out.